Hey guys, welcome back to Code4. Today we'll be seeing some query by example questions from past papers. So let's dive right into it. But before that, if you're new to Code4, this channel is all about educative stuff. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for instant notifications and make sure you share our channel. Hey guys, welcome back to question is from May, June 2019, paper 2, 1. So this table, beverages, shows the number of calories in 100 ml of a range of popular beverages. So it also shows the availability of these drinks in a can, a small bottle, and a large bottle. So here they're asking, give a reason for choosing Bev number as a primary key for this table. So basically, the field Bev number is chosen as a fact primary key because it has no repeat values and has alphanumeric data. All the values are unique. Okay. So next, we have to state the number of records shown in the table beverages. So records are basically the number of rows, excluding the row with the field names. So here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 records. So you're asking us to list the output that would be given by this query by example. So here um, we have to show the bev number and the beverage name, and there's and we have to show the beverage name. You have to show it in the order opposite order of alphabetical for beverage name, and there is a condition. So it has to be available in cans, small bottles, and large bottles. So when we go here and check which ones, which beverages are available in all three, we find cola and we have lemonade. So since we're supposed to write the beverage number and beverage name and that too in the opposite of alphabetical order of beverage name, we write lemonade first and cola next. Next. Complete the query by example grid to output a list showing just the names and primary keys of all the beverages with calorie count greater than 45. This list should be in alphabetical order of names. So first, we need to have the field beverage number, beverage name, and calories. And we have to write the table name. So they've told us that the list should be in alphabetical order. So we have written ascending. And they're also asking us to show the beverage number. The beverage number is basically the primary key. So we have to show the beverage number and we have to show the beverage name. So we have a tick there. And the condition is that the calorie count should be greater than 45. So we have to write it under criteria. And that's it. So this question is from May, June 2019, paper 2.2. So a database table flight is used to keep a record of flights from a small airfield. So planes can carry passengers, freight, or both. So some flights are marked as private and carry only passengers. Okay. So they're asking us to state the field that could have a Boolean type. So I've written passengers here because passengers is the only type that has yes or no as the like data. So Boolean is basically yes or no. This can be represented in the full form of yes and no, or even by Y and N. Okay, a query by example has been written to display just the flight numbers of all the planes leaving after 10 that carry only passengers, okay? So here, um, they're asking us to explain why this query by example is not right. And they're asking us to write the correct one. So first of all, they're telling us to display the flight numbers. Here, the flight numbers is not even displayed. So there needs to be a tick there. And the condition is that it should be for all planes 
leaving after 10. So here is given equal to 10, which should be a greater than symbol. And the condition is that it should carry only passengers. So first of all, pass the field passengers doesn't even have to be displayed. So that tick needs to be removed. And, um, and it needs to carry only passengers. So yes, it does have to have an equal to yes here, but this also includes flights. This also includes flights that have freight and passengers. So we have to we have to exclude that here. That's also included, but they're asking for passenger only flights. So we have to exclude that too. And this is how you write the right one. There is another way to write this. Instead of writing like not including freighting passengers, we can write is equal to passenger only or equal to pass private passenger flight. So this question is from October, November 2020 paper 2-1. So a database table airline stores data while used used to compare airlines. So they're asking us to state how many fields and how many records are shown in the airline table. So fields are the number of columns. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six columns here. So that's the number of fields. And records are the number of rows, excluding the row that has the field name. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine records. Okay. Now they're saying show the output that will be given by this query by example. So here they're telling us to show the airline name of the airlines that have less than 35,000 employees. They're also telling us to show the head office. And also there's another criteria where the share price should be more than 500. So here we have to go and check which, mm, which airlines follow these requirements. So, mm, so one is Kuala 3 and the other one that follows these requirements is Sky King. Okay. So since we're supposed to write the airline name and the head office, we write it like this. Okay, so here they're asking us to complete the query by example grid to find every airline with a head office in Asia or Africa and the number of countries greater than four. And we should only show the airline name and the number of countries. So here, First, we only need the field airline name, number of countries, and head office. And we have to write the table name. And we have to put a tick for airline name and number of countries because only those two fields need to be displayed. And the conditions are that the number of countries should be more than four, and the head office needs to be in Asia or Africa. So we have more than four here for criteria, and it needs to be in Asia and Africa, so that is equal to Asia and equal to Africa.